Today we are going to make these Jim Dine inspired hearts. Um, we're going to be using some oil pastels. We're going to be using uh, some templates. I haven't done that before. Um, we're going to start off with this black and white frame. And the first thing we're going to do is use a heart template. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it right in the middle of our frame, right in the middle. And you're going to have to hold it in the middle to keep it tight because you don't want it to slide around. And then you're going to use your black oil pastel and you are going to trace around it. Take your time because you want this to be a really nice, neat heart. Trace around your heart. Hold it tight. And if you need your neighbor to help you hold it, that's great teamwork. And then you can help them hold theirs. Go all the way around. And then when you pull your template off, you should have the shape of a heart drawn. And then if you want, you can go back over it and make it darker. Push down hard. So your black oil pastel shows up nice. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna decorate our art using some lines that Larry the Line taught us. You know lots of lines. You know the spirals and polka dots, you know wavy and zigzag, you know stripes, you know all different types of lines. So I want you to choose some lines to use and just decorate however you want. Um, I'm gonna put some spirals in the corner. On uh, these, I put hearts in the corner. And then I'm going to put um, a zigzag line and another one down here. And I'm going to make stripes on this side. And not this side. Just do the best you can. And then I'm going to go to my heart, and I think I'm going to put polka dots in my heart. I'm just going to fill the whole thing up with polka dots. You don't have to do that. You can put spirals, or you can make your stripes, or stars, or flowers. Maybe you put more hearts. It's up to you. And I'm going to add a heart down here, and a heart over here. And then I'm going to add some lines just for fun. I want you to decorate yours however you want. Put another spiral here in the middle. Maybe some more lines. Alright, so fill up your whole page with all different decorations and lines. <clears throat> and the next thing we're going to do is put our black oil pastel away and get out our neon oil pastels these are all different colors and we're just going to choose any color you want and i just want you to start by putting colors everywhere no rhyme or reason to it just pick a spot and start putting some oil pastels this is going to take a little bit take your time on this fill in all of the white spots um, it's the easiest if you just go around and start picking spots once you've filled up several spots, go ahead and choose a different color. Choose purple this time. We're going to use all the colors. And when you get close to another color, um, it's really fun because it kind of blends together. Y'all see how the purple and pink kind of blended together a little bit right there? Makes it really pretty. So you can do that with all your colors. Once you've done a lot on one, go to another color. We're going to fill up all of our page with these colors. We don't want any white space showing. You're going to color the whole art. Um, this is going to take a little bit, so take your time on this. Um, we're going to do this for two days. So whatever you don't get done today, you'll be able to finish tomorrow. I'll go on to another one. All of your colors. Be careful all around the black. When you get close to the black, sometimes it likes to smear your black. If it does, it's not a big deal, but just be careful when you're close to your black. Any 
any color you want. You're going to end up using all of them, so you might as well just grab one and get going. When you get done, your art should be completely covered in color just like these. So don't stop until it's completely filled with color. 